हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इजी मैथमेटिक्स आई विश ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे फॉर द नेशनल मैथमेटिक्स डे व्हिच इज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ अ ग्रेट मैथमेटिशियन डॉक्टर रामानुजन एंड आई वांट टू थैंक यू ऑल बिकॉज टुडे आई हैव कंप्लीटेड 600 सब्सक्राइबर्स इन माई चैनल नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट एंड आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज पावर सीरीज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज पावर सीरीज before that i hope all of you are comfortable with the geometric series it is the continuation of that one so now the power series is what a series of the form summation of n from 0 to infinity a n x minus x 0 to the power n is equals to a0 plus a1 x minus x0 plus a2 x minus x0 its whole square in this way if it continues then it becomes the power series here just remember a n is the coefficient and any variable which is in the form which is in the power of some n so this one is a power series which we can write in this format also here if we just replace x minus x0 by x then only we will get this form where the coefficients a0 a1 a2 all these up to an and up to infinity are independent of x and is called a power series in x for this power series here what to do our target is same we are supposed to verify the nature of this series nature of this series means it is divergent convergent or oscillatory for which values of x that we are going to find out here so first of all we should uh, analyze what situations may arise so first of all when in this series we will find out x is equals to 0 then what happens we just consider this one if x is equals to 0 then what we will find out all those terms becomes 0 except this a0 that means when our value of x becomes 0 then the series is definitely convergent so whatever be the value whatever be the given series if it is a power series then at the point x is equals to 0 it is definitely convergent now if x is equals to 0 and no other values of x for the series is convergent then the series is called the nowhere convergent except x is equals to 0 if for no other values the series is convergent then we say the series is nowhere convergent now if we will find out for whatever be the value of x we will find out the series is convergent then we say the series is everywhere convergent so what we will find out three things if x is equals to 0 then it is sure shot convergent so x is equals to 0 is the special case for the power series always it is convergent for x is equals to 0 except x is equals to 0 if for any other values the series does not converge then we say the series nowhere convergent and if it is converges all values of x for then we say it is everywhere convergent now it is possible that the series converges within a certain interval of x that particular interval of x is called the interval of convergence and that particular value that is the end point of this interval is called the radius of convergence definitely we are going to discuss in details what is the interval of convergence and radius of convergence so these facts we will find out four facts when x is equals to 0 when x no other values for the series convergent when x all values for the series is convergent and when for some uh, certain values for x the series is convergent these four situations we will find out all those situations we will analyze with an example so here is a first example what is given here the power series is given summation n factorial x to the power n that means if we expand this one we will find out the series as 1 plus x plus 2 factorial x square plus 3 factorial x cube in this way so that here un is definitely n factorial x to the power of n and we will find out that n u n plus 1 is n plus 1 factorial x to the power n plus 1 now what to do we just take the ratio of these two 
if this we will consider the ratio of these two within the mod and take n tends to infinity then we will find out the value comes as n plus 1 mod x which definitely tends to infinity as n tends to infinity because here n plus 1 is given now the series is divergent except when x is equals to 0 that should be our conclusion because we will find out the value the limiting value tends to infinity that means except at x is equals to 0 we will find out the series is nowhere convergent so this is our first situation now it is if the series is given like summation of x to the power n divided by n factorial so that in expanded form we will find out as 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial in this way here u n is x to the power n by n factorial and accordingly u n plus 1 we can find out. Now if we take the ratio and take the limit as n tends to infinity then we will find out the value is 0 which is less than 1. Hence we can conclude from here that the series converges for every value of x. Hence the series is everywhere convergent. In the previous case we will find out the series is nowhere convergent as we will find out except at the point x is equals to 0 the series is divergent. Now in the second case we will find out the series is everywhere convergent. Let us do one more example and this one is of very important because from this one we can understand the interval of convergence and the radius of convergence and the given series is summation of x to the power n only. So if we expand this one we will find out this is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and this one and I hope you can guess that this one is nothing but a GP series. Yes, it is a GP series and we know how the GP series convergent, when the GP series convergent, when it is divergent, when it is oscillatory. So according to that knowledge, we can say this geometric series is convergent for mod x less than 1. That means it is convergent in between minus 1 to plus 1. It is the open bracket. So, which is the interval of convergence? This range of x is called the interval of convergence and the value 1, the mod x is equal to mod x is less than 1. So, this is the end point of this interval. So, this one value is called the radius of convergence. Do you understand? The interval of convergence means for what value of x the given series convergent and what is the maximum value or the end value in the interval that one that value is called the radius of convergent which is denoted by either capital R or small r. Now the definition for the interval of convergence and the radius of convergence. So it says that the interval of convergence which we can write as minus r comma r or it is minus r to plus r. So of a power series in x is a collection of all values of x in the interval such that the series converges for every value of x within the interval and diverges outside the interval that is the power series if it is given summation a n x to the power n not only converges but absolutely convergent for all values of x inside the interval of convergence this is our interval of convergence inside this one it is not only convergent but it is absolutely convergent because we will find out that the mod r less than r and definitely then it is diverges for mod r greater than r then r is this r is called the radius of convergence of the power series now if we find out this radius of convergence then for that we have two basic rules in the power series both the rules are known to us First rule by using the D'Alembert's ratio test and second rule is using the Cauchy's root test. I hope both the names are known to you. So let us discuss the first rule how to find out the radius of convergence for power series for that the rule 1 
at first this one is your given power series for this power series radius of convergence can be determined by the ratio test here r which is the radius of convergence is equals to limit n tends to infinity mod of a n divided by a n plus 1 just observe this is just the reverse of d alimbert's ratio test in d alimbert's ratio test we will do u n plus 1 by u n here we will take u n by u n plus 1 here i have taken a n that is just the coefficient of this one because we know that this ratio means it is always giving us the mod x so that r value is the just the reverse of ratio so that r we will find out by this rule so if this one is fail then what we will do that means when it is fail at first you know that if we will not find out any unique value for this one this ratio basically then we can say this rule fails that time we go for the Cauchy's root test which is the rule 2 to find out the radius of convergence for the power series. Now by using this second rule here again we know the root test for the formula is limit n tends to infinity mod of u n to the power 1 upon n. Here we take the reverse of this one that means whenever you are finding out the radius of convergence then it is 1 upon this rule then it is the radius r. Here one thing should be noted that if this limiting value this is the formula for the Cauchy's root test if this limiting value is 0 then definitely the radius of convergence is infinity because it is reverse of this one 1 by 0 so that is infinity and when this limiting value is infinity then the radius of convergence is 0 so that is for uh, r is equals to infinity which will implies that the given series is everywhere convergent and for r is equals to 0 it is implying that it is nowhere convergent except at x is equals to 0. Now we should validate both this rule by using some examples. So here is our first example. The given power series is x plus x square by 2 square plus 2 factorial divided by 3 cube x cube plus 3 factorial by 4 to the power 4 x to the power 4 plus in this way the series is. So obviously this one is a power series because whenever the terms are involving like x, x square, x cube, x to the power 4 then it is under the power series. So first of all we should find out what is the a n here. So here the a n is n minus 1 its factorial divided by n to the power of n and a n plus 1 is definitely n factorial by n plus 1 to the power n plus 1. Now if we take the ratio test so that according to the ratio test we will find out the limiting value is 1 upon e. So the radius of convergence is what? It is just the reverse of this one that means the radius of convergence r is equals to e and what is the interval of convergence then? The interval of convergence is definitely then minus e to plus e. So this one is the interval of convergence and r is the is equals to e is the radius of convergence. Let us do the another example. So in this example we will find out that this given series is x minus x square by 2 square plus x cube by 3 square minus x to the power 4 by 4 square in this way. So this one is an alternating series. So first of all a n is minus 1 to the power n minus 1 by n square. So accordingly a n plus 1 is minus 1 to the power n by n plus 1 its whole square. If we apply the ratio test then we will find out the value is 1. Therefore the power series has the radius of convergence r is equals to 1 because 1 its reciprocal is 1 itself and the series convergence we converges within the interval minus 1 to plus 1. Just remember here the mod x actually it is mod x value if it is uh, less than 1 then this value we will find out and if it is greater than 1 then the uh, given series is divergent. So accordingly when x is equals to 1 then what happened? So when x is equals to 1 then our series becomes this one which is the completely an alternating series which is alternating as so we apply the Leibniz theorem. So according to the Leibniz theorem we will find out this one is a decreasing series and its nth term when n tends to infinity becomes 0. So by Leibniz theorem we can say when x is equals to 1 the given series convergent. So definitely we should test when x is equals to minus 1 because these two are the end points of the given interval. 
so now when it is minus 1 that time the series becomes this one so accordingly if we just simplify then we will find out that this one is nothing but a p series and the p value is 2 which is greater than 1 hence the series is convergent at at x is equals to minus 1 2 therefore the interval of convergence of the power series becomes minus 1 2 plus 1 which is the closed bracket that means minus 1 and plus 1 both included now one more thing or one more example let us see so find out or convert the series into a power series and find the interval of convergence and the radius of convergence this problem I am not going to do for you and I can give you a hint that how to solve this one you just put this 2x plus 1 instead of this one as y so that it becomes minus 2 to the power n y to the power n by n square now I think it becomes easier now you just do find out the interval for the variable y after that finally after getting the interval you replace this y by 2x plus 1 and accordingly you calculate the interval so that question you should complete by yourself not only this one except this one four more questions are there for you which is your practice questions after doing all those questions you should write their answer in the comment box so i'm just showing you the four more questions which are your do by yourself questions including this one also so now look at the question so your first question is uh, actually for all you should find out the radius of convergence for the following series and for the first question it is uh, summation n to the power n by factorial n into x to the power n your second question is 1 by 2 into x plus 1 into 3 by 2 into 5 into x square plus 1 into 3 into 5 by 2 into 5 into 8 x cube in this way. Your third series is x plus x square by 20 plus x cube by 3 into 10 square plus in this way the nth term I am given here for you it is x to the power n divided by n into 10 to the power n minus 1 and in this way it is up to infinity and the finally one more series which is here 1 by 4 minus x plus x square by 4 square minus x cube plus x to the power 4 by 4 to the power 4 minus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 6 by 4 to the power 6 minus in this way this series progressing so complete the answer for these all four questions and I hope you understand the power series which is almost known to you because geometric series is very much similar to this one. Not only this geometric series but the E series or log series, sine series, cos series all are the power series. So uh, how to uh, do all those series that we will describe. Uh, gradually on our upcoming videos ja, the next video we will do some little bit advance on the power series infinite power series so this video is beneficial for the any competitive examination uh, like get net anything so i hope you like the video so have a nice day and thank you all